in politics in, in KwaZulu Natal, the ANC has a new leadership. Sikhe Zigalala has been announced as the NC chairperson in KwaZulu Natal after he was elected unopposed. Mike Mabuyakulu has been elected deputy chairperson after defeating provincial premier Willis Mkonu while Mdumsen Intuli was elected the new provincial secretary defeating Supazuma. Sipotlo Moga has been elected deputy secretary defeating Bongisi Tole Moloi and Mlulek Indobe. The position of provincial treasurer was also uncontested with Nomusa Dube Ngube elected unopposed. I'm going to start with the position of um, chairperson, which was unopposed, and we had Ukomrezi Sikle Zigalala elected unopposed. We have Congress C. Potomuka who received 834 votes. We have elected and opposed Comrade Romusa Nube Dube. Comrade Romusa. All right, let's get the latest on the ANC KZN conference on the results from our reporter Ayanda Mlong, who's been tracking the story for us. Ayanda, I guess our speculations uh, were, were very close uh, uh, yesterday, but let's look at those results and how was the reaction, of course, uh, to uh, look at, looking at Sihle Zigalala. I mean, 912 votes unopposed, and of course, in Tuli, they're sitting comfortably on 958. Yeah, well, certainly, uh, Alicia, the delegates uh, here seem uh, quite uh, happy with uh, the results, as you heard there from those uh, screams and cheers, them breaking into song as uh, the uh, names of the new leaders of the ANC in KwaZulu Natal were read out by the elections agency. agency. Great excitement. Uh, these leaders are now uh, seen, and the ANC delegates here saying they now hope that these are the leaders that are going to unite and take the ANC forward here in the province of Kwasi Natal. But Alicia, uh, I will get back to uh, the matter here at the uh, conference. An unfortunate incident that we've just uh, learned about uh, some uh, 15 minutes ago here in Kwasi Natal. This tragic incident that has just happened, the killing of an ANC a Youth League leader. is also the deputy chairperson of the ANC in Ward 88, Umla. In Umlazi, Bongani Mkize tragically has been shot and killed. Uh, in Umlazi, we don't have uh, the details that remain a bit sketchy on exactly what uh, happened. Uh, but uh, what we do know, though he wasn't a delegate here at this conference, but speaking uh, to the leaders of the Youth League, he has uh, been here. He was uh, um, here, wished uh, the Youth League well, those that were going to be delegates at the uh, conference. So that is a uh, sad news uh, that has marred what has been uh, from the ANC a very successful uh, conference that has gone according to a plan of course shaky uh, to begin with with um, those at uh, the uh, court interdict but of course having it uh, being dismissed allowing the conference uh, to go ahead but coming back now here to the conference Alicia uh, great excitement from uh, delegates, the hall, uh, full. Uh, they've, it's been a long day. They were here the entire day, the entire night, but we saw that they are still here, wanting to be a uh, part and to ensure that they finish this conference on a high note. And of course, uh, also uh, the president of the ANC, Cyril Ramaphosa, coming through to close this conference, warmly welcomed by the delegates here. And his message as well, uh, well received from the ANC, 
Kwazi members. The president saying that uh, KwaZulu Natal has shown that they can go rise above the challenges that they've had, the problems uh, in uh, this province, and he's quite delighted uh, with the uh, new leadership. Wished them well and saying that he believes that uh, these gentlemen and lady who are now uh, tasked uh, with uh, leading uh, the province of KwaZulu Natal, but most importantly uniting uh, this province, and he's saying that he hopes, uh, he knows that uh, the delegates have chosen well, and uh, he says that he's hopeful that uh, the leaders of uh, KwaZulu Natal and the delegates of KwaZulu Natal are now going to walk work together uh, to, uh, particularly as uh, the uh, ANC needs to now focus on its election campaign for uh, 2019, and he said it's now about every single member of the ANC. In fact, he even said that they need to all um, look at themselves as a president of the ANC, that the ANC is now in their hands, every single one of these delegates. It's their responsibility to now go out and work on the ground for the ANC. But... Um, uh, just to uh, bring in now very quickly, Alicia, the chairperson of the Youth League here in the province of KwaZulu Natal, they called it. Uh, uh, these are the names that you had nominated, uh, Chair Gwazim Shengu. Thank you so much for uh, your time. I tell you, if you were better, you would have done very well as uh, the Youth League. <laughs> these are the leaders that you want, and you've been successful. Yes, indeed. We are quite uh, very much happy as the ANC Youth League. Uh, first and foremost, that the conference is proceeding very well will remember the history of our recent past. So we're quite confident and happy that we're proceeding well. But secondly, the fact that the officials that we have put forward as the ANC Youth League have been all um, elected as they are, we believe that uh, we have been managed, uh, we have been able to exact our influence in the ANC because we really put forward a very powerful perspective in our view as to why the officials as they are elected should be elected by the delegates. And we are happy that uh, the majority of delegates uh, in this conference agreed with the perspective of the ANC Youth League. There, there's been much talk, of course, unity, unity. This is what the ANC wants uh, to uh, see here. And you also, as the Youth League, have said that uh, you too want to, the ANC to overcome the challenges that have that it's had. This uh, uh, leadership that you see, is this the unity leadership? Well, we're quite confident that uh, this leadership will be able to then lead the process of really unifying the organization because the issue of unity is not an incident or an event for that matter. It doesn't start or end with the election of the leadership that will be elected in this uh, conference. It's a process. But we had to put forward credible leaders leaders that we are going to trust that they will lead the genuine unity of the movement as we know it. Not unity of factions, not unity of certain individuals, but organic unity of the ANC that we know. So that it is able also to unite the society. Sure. I'm going to leave you there. Thank you very much. I know that you're still uh, inside dealing with the additional members. Thank you so much for your time. The chairperson of the ANC Youth League there, Gwazim Shengu, quite excited as the Youth League that they were successful with the names that they had uh, put uh, forward as the leaders of uh, Gwazim Natal and certainly uh, from the delegates as well. There's great excitement and uh, hope that uh, these leaders are going to uh, move the ANC forward here in the, the province of Gwazim Natal, Alicia. All right. Well, Ayanda, here yeah, that uh, you know at this stage people are very happy but just to throw forward now what is the likelihood that this conference be contested seeing that there was an actual court application for an interdict just that the ruling said it wasn't urgent have you had any whispers uh, about the disgruntled group heading back to the court over the results now Alicia, we've heard very little uh, from those, uh, in fact, nothing uh, from those uh, six uh, applicants. One wonders where they are, whether or not they are planning possibly to challenge um, the results of uh, this conference. But uh, inside the conference, uh, nothing that we picked up on that they could possibly be uh, somebody or groups that are unhappy uh, with uh, the results. But you never know, Alicia. People might leave uh, the conference and uh, then later on on reviewing the outcomes uh, of the conference then decide that they would want to uh, challenge. But uh, the ANC has said that they ensured that the processes were transparent, as you know, even that vetting process that we spoke about yesterday, mm -hmm. to ensure that um, they went through all the del delegates, that there were no illegitimate uh, voters at this uh, conference. Um, they included the, the branch uh, leaders of the branches who then uh, verified that these were indeed the delegates that had been elected 
by the BGMs to be part of this conference. It was a very lengthy process, but the ANC said it was a very crucial and necessary process mm. because they wanted to ensure that they uh, averted any situation that could result in members being unhappy and saying that there were some bogus members at this conference. It's just going to be a matter of time. Alicia, we'll have to wait and see over the next coming days mm -hmm. whether or not any groups or disgruntled members of the ANC may come up and say they wish to challenge uh, the results of this conference. All right. And of course, uh, Ayanda, we do know that uh, the main results have been out, uh, have been released. What still needs to be done? At this moment, as we speak to you, Alicia, um, the delegates are now uh, nominating, electing the additional members of the Provincial Executive uh, Committee. And again there, uh, when we speak of uh, unity, the delegates have said that they want to ensure that this PC is made up of both uh, factions, um, that with the rival factions here in the province of Natal, also ensuring that there is youth, represent, uh, youth uh, represented in the PC as well as women. So that is what is taking a place now. And shortly after that, the conference will then wrap. It's been a long, mm. since uh, Thursday, I think they've probably had about four hours sleep uh, since Thursday, these delegates. And after that, they will then all make their way home to uh, the 11 regions across the province of Gosselinitao. You know, Ayanda, while we're speaking of women, we saw pretty much the same thing here in the Gauteng PEC, the lack of female representation. And it's also spilling over to KZN. I mean, is there any word from, uh, from the Women's League about uh, their campaign when it comes to elections? We were, that is uh, one of the uh, points that we did raise uh, with uh, the uh, Women's League, Alicia, yesterday, uh, in fact, uh, on uh, the uh, nominations, or well, the names at the time that uh, were being spoken of, mm -hmm. um, that it was just uh, Nomusa Dubengube for the position of treasurer, yes. and we saw Bongis Tole Mloy, who was contesting the position of uh, the deputy secretary, asking the Women's League why there are so few uh, women, mm -hmm. and we see it's only now being uh, Nomusa Dubengube. Um, that has been uh, elected in a position and uh, the women's league uh, saying that um, from as far as they they uh, worked on uh, in pushing women that they were happy that they had the two uh, uh, ladies that, that they were pushing for unfortunately then as we see it didn't go uh, as they had hoped they had mm. hoped and they're saying that they were confident that uh, Bongis Tolem Loi and Nomusa uh, Dube uh, that they were going to be the two ladies that were going to be represented but what they've said now and is that they're looking at the additional members of the PEC. Yeah. They want to push for more female representation mm. on the additional members of the PEC. All right, Ayanda, thank you so, so much. We're going to get you, we're going to let you get some rest there. It's been a long and arduous uh, conference there. That is our reporter, Ayanda Mshongo, live to us from Durban in Kuzulu Natal with a wrap update of the NC's Kuzulu Natal Provincial Elective Conference that just wrapped up uh, early today. And we news just in, we heard from our reporter there that uh, Sadly, NC Youth League leader Bonganim Kiza was shot and killed. Uh, those details of the incident are still very sketchy, but we'll definitely keep you informed right here on SA Today. In other news now, President Sir Ramon.